Hey guys, what's up? It's me, James. And for this video, we are gonna have another tour review video as we've had before. Now, if you haven't watched those yet, you can click on the link below or you can click on the annotation on the top left corner of the screen. And for this tour review video, we are gonna have the Transformers Dark of the Moon Leader Class Sentinel Prime. Now, as always, we are gonna start off with the vehicle mode, and then we're gonna run through the details, and then we're gonna run off to the robot mode. Then, you know, take a look at the details as well, show you guys what I think about this figure, and yeah. So, starting off in vehicle mode, he takes the form of a Rosenbauer fire truck. Now, this type of fire truck is sort of a advanced, you know, fire truck, it is a new version, I believe. In real life, this is a very large um, vehicle, very nicely made, um, it has a good resemblance how Sentinel was in the actual movie, very good, very accurate, screen accurate, I do have a uh, nozzle here, it is just made of rubber so that you won't have to worry about snapping something off, you do, have with a, you do also have a little flip up nozzle that just folds in, folds out. So there's his uh, vehicle mode. He does also have his um, um, side view mirrors, rubber as well. Um, you have your nice, very nice detailed headlights. You have your windshield. But I do hope they kind of give it a tinted color at least so that it'll cover up at least a little bit of this um, robot parts. I hope they did that. But yeah. What are you gonna do? Still, still Sentinel, still pretty cool. Um, so and going to the side, you have your uh, 360 numbering over here. You have your fire rescue. You have your Rosenbauer um, logo. You have your Autobot symbol. Going to the back, you have your tail lights. Very nice. You do have your shield hanging off in the back right there. Um, you have your little foot, which I'm gonna talk about in a while. Um, so yeah. Same thing on the other side. Now, if you um, go up here, you do come with sound gimmicks. If you press this, you're gonna get. So you have your your siren. Very nice. Now his um, does come with lights as well. If I get uh, just turn off the lights to show you. Now pressing that, you can probably see the lights a lot better. So yeah. Uh, it's not very bright on camera, but um, if you really hold this in your hand, you're gonna see that it that it is pretty bright. So yeah, again, a very nice representation that Sentinel was. Um, he does have weapon storage, by the way. Oh, and before that, I'm just gonna talk about how this figure has, you know, like changing modes in vehicle. Vehicle mode he has a different, you know, type of mode that changes the sound effects. Um, it's and see that it is actually down up here. Um, you do have a button on the mech tech port over here. You see the difference. Um, if you get a mech tech weapon, which and sadly I don't have one, but I do have this handy pencil. Just put it in there and uh, gives it that sound. And if you remove it, you have your transformation sound. And um, if you just like hold it, your, uh, your button up here. You press that, you have uh, different sound effects, so yeah, transformation sound, um, very nice, glad that they added that, um, so yeah, there it is, so yeah, he does have weapon storage, again, first off, let's take a look at the shield, which is under here, so yeah, you have your shield just pegged in, to remove it, just gently pull it out. And you have that, you set that off to the side first. And for the sword, you're gonna wanna go back here, you lift that up and it reveals the sword simply gently pull it off as well. Yeah. You have your sword. So um he is lighter, but he doesn't have his weapons on him, and he rolls a whole lot better. Just wanna close again. Yeah, there we go. Um, ah, this this is what I don't like about this figure. Like 
you know panels like this they don't stay in place very well what's wrong with this guy I yeah, forget it, I'm gonna transform it anyway. I'll show you the robot mode. Um, it does roll very well, not like earlier, it's kind of screeching on the uh, surface. Looks very well. Um, yeah, very nice vehicle mode. So now, let's get on with these weapons. Now, setting off Sentinel to the side, and now we're gonna take a look at his weapons. First, let's start with the sword. Now, the first thing I would like to say, I'm sorry, I hit the camera. Um, very nice resemblance, very accurate to how the sword actually looks like in the movie. You even have some Cybertronian symbols on there. Could zoom that in for you. So yeah, there it is. Um I can't really see it, it's not focusing. It's the camera or So you have it there. Very nice details. Um it is a double bladed sword, as you noticed. Um <laughs> this fold for weapon storage. You can fold it out when you're gonna display them in robot mode. So yeah, there's a sword. Now let's take a look at the shield. And now I know I say this a lot, so much, but you know, again, it's very accurate as a good resemblance to how it was in the movie. Just you know, I know I say that a lot, but it is true. It, so yeah, you have your pop-up thing right there. You have your button, Cybertronian science there you press that and then you get this um don't really know what they call this kind of looks like a gun sword kind of thing but um if you see if you go under here you see these two they just peg into sentinel himself you can lift this up see the mac tech parts up on the roof we'll put these down first to get more clearance Oh, fell. Hmm, that is peculiar. Well, put that in there. So you have that weird mode. I'm just gonna run through the road and stab people with these sword stuff. And it keeps falling anyway. I'm not. I'm. I don't choose to display him that way. It's you know my personal preferences for for him to have his weapons you know in him. I guess so that he'll look a lot more neat. I don't like him, you know, carrying weapons on top of him, you know. Just looks weird. So yeah, very nice, again, very nice vehicle mode. Catches the resemblance of Sentinel himself. Um, very accurate. And um, yeah, enough for the vehicle mode. And let's take a look at the robot mode. Alright. Uh, <laughs> okay, the first thing I have to say is that he is way tall I mean he is too tall for like the frame I had to like move the camera up I just don't like doing that cuz you know it's just too high I don't know it's now I want you guys to put you know put your reactions on the comment section down below on how you think this came out in robot mode now personally my reaction is like what you know but I would say this this figure in robot mode is just really you know it has a tremendous amount of detail in it excessive amount of detail so accurate it's just you know very accurate I like running out of words now um, you do have this uh, shield and sword on him very nice now taking these off I just want to show you the figure itself well, take this off for a while So yeah, here's Sentinel Prime. Yeah, for me, uh, you know, well, specifically for the Dark of the Moon line, I think this is the best one that we're gonna get that we have um, right now. It's just very, very stunning. How you know? Very nice, very nice detail on this guy. Even the. Uh, face is just wow I mean he even has this rubber eyebrow thing that he has in the movie um, you know it's just so much detail in this guy right now I can't even talk very well um, again he does have lights and sounds if you press this 
you get um, well mine doesn't really align with the button very well but if you get your finger in there you get um, just you know get that so yeah he says I'm Sentinel Prime but again he does have that change mode changing thing um, and one thing I want to say about this guy is that he is very back heavy I mean look how much stuff he has back here it's like a big backpack you know it's just put that down it's so so heavy in the back you know I, it, that's because the battery's there you know like I said that's why I don't really like you know figures with um, batteries I'm not saying that this figure is bad I really like this figure I love this figure it's just that uh, the flaw is that um, the batteries are just you know you know making him fall most of the time um, so you have a pencil here if you put it up here again you, you have that and then you press the button here he said what has happened to the all spark and then wait you can said good to see you alive Optimus so yeah I don't think he, you know that's what he thinks in the end you get what I mean so yeah there's Simo Prime again very nice very good resemblance to how he looks I mean there's just so much detail that I can't even go over just because I want to look at this guy very nice um very good details on him his hands do move he has articulated fingers uh, so that's that's gonna be for his weapons if you want to store them in you like have to move his fingers to you know, get more clearance so yeah for his articulation his head doesn't move a whole lot because of these parts right here in this color I think um, his hands rotate very well um, and then it rotates a full 360 I guess yeah so um, no waist articulation no torso doesn't move whatsoever um, his legs do split uh, goes forward and backward not so much because of the stuff in the back um, his knees bend and there's this ratchet joint his uh, rotating knee his hands his wrists rotate um, his fingers do his feet kind of a side to side movement I guess he has that just up and down so um, there's Arsenal's articulation as you see I can't even get him to stand very well so I'm just gonna lean him to the wall just looking at him you're like is there you know it's, it's just so much detail very nicely made the paint job is fantastic and um, yeah to you very nice how they made this guy um, it's, it's just the backpack that makes it a little bit you know back heavy and all so you have to really lean him back if you want to display him or you know adjust his legs a bit to make his body like fall and fall forward to make it balance or something you know so yeah storing him with his weapons um, let's close this up so you have your shield now my shield doesn't hold very well for whatever reason or yeah doesn't hold very well um, but you do have some of these pegs like I said so you can just store it on here he has a hole on his um, arm so yeah there's a shield very nice you have his sword gonna slot that in there and hold him So yeah, there's an old prime. Just gonna let him balance. Just oh, he f it fell. Gonna balance him. So there's an old prime. Now, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, cause you know, man, give it a like if you enjoyed this video. You comment down below. 
tell me what you want to see in my channel, you could recommend videos for me to make, um, share this video with your friends and family if you like, and so that they could see it too. Um, of course, subscribe to my channel. For you guys who aren't subscribed, subscribe now so that you will always be notified every time I upload a video. So yeah, that is Sentinel Prime guys, hope you enjoyed. Um, again, a very fantastic figure, very nice detail. Um, it's just, I can't really talk very well now because of how he looks, it's just so nice. Um, so yeah, hope you liked this video and um, I'll see you next time. See ya!